I've now looked at the Huggett silencer a little closer. Very impressed with the build quality. The first thing I noticed was following the trend of many other silencers nowadays, the spacers are one long, one short, one long. The build quality itself of these cages, the spacers, is quite good, made of aluminium. On either side of the short one, there are Delrin washers. This one being a 177 silencer, it's got the hole appropriate for the 177. On the outside of the cage, is wrapped some wire mesh, and then the outside of the wire mesh, is some de dense foam, some dense uh, felt, I should say. Sorry. The end cap for the muzzle. It's machined so there's a little spigot there. It holds the cage central. That in turn helps to align the washer baffle, keep everything in line. A nice touch I thought, well thought out, well designed and well made. The exit end, end cap, that's the same. It's machined there, the cage fits over it to keep it in line. So everything's looking quite good. And as mentioned earlier, there are slots here. And I can see some wire mesh on the inside. What I'm going to do, leave the baffles out, replace the end caps, and just fire a couple of shots. But what I shall do is put some tissue paper around these slots here, dry fire it without any pellet, and put my finger over the exit end cap so all the air has to escape through these slots just to show air does escape from them and it's part of the design well I'm assuming that's what's going to happen anyway unless they just put the gauze there to make it look pretty so just a few shots finger over the end cap just to see if air does come out of here